Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to take this ordinary dollar store bottle and turn it into a Halloween one like this. Okay, so I'm outside in my garage. So the first thing I want to do is take your corks off. And I'm using this Rust-Oleum Satin Candy in Black color. You want to make sure you shake it really well, which I did for a little while. And then make sure you work in a ventilated area. But I just spray really lightly, because you can do several coats. Just go really light on each side. Again, you want to use really light coats because you can go back over it again. You don't want drip spots on it. But after I'll let it dry, I'll do another coat and then I'll show you the next step. You're going to want to print these out, so I'll leave a link below to where to get these. Okay, so I have my bottles finished. I like how it turned out. This one was a matte finish, and the ones that I did previously were shiny. And I kind of like the matte finish better for these. So here's the other one I did. And all these bottles came from the dollar store. And then previously, I took my paper that I cut out with the first part that I showed you, and I would put Mod Podge on it, but I'm gonna try this once this Mod, Mod Podge clear um, acrylic sealer and maybe see if I spray it on if it would stick on it maybe a little bit better um, because if you look at this I don't know if you can see it from on the camera what you could see where I sponged it on um, so I'm gonna try this spray and see if that will work so I shook it for a little while and I'm gonna just spray it on and we'll see if it does the same job Make sure we get it on straight. Make it nice and flat. Oh yeah, that's much better. You don't see any streaks or anything. And it sticks right on without any problem. So there's that one. And then I have the square one here, which is kind of neat because it has this on the sides. So I kind of like that one. So I made, or I cut out two of these, but this one's a little bit too wide for it. So I'm gonna try this one. I've gotta kind of see which one would fit best on it. So this one, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Just spray a little bit on here. And then, do it as best as I can in the middle and then just lightly push out and then the sides here you gotta push down a little bit but there such a simple and easy project to do Perfect, if you can see that. Just gonna work with the sides a little bit and make it stick. There. So yeah, I like this spray Mod Podge much better. Um, I've never used it before, so if you've used it before, let me know what else we can maybe use it on. Um, but it seems to be sticking really nice, and there's no marks on the side from where I put it on. And then I'll just take the corks, like I have from before, and put it on top. And I actually have these lights that I bought from Amazon. I don't know if it'll show up, so I'm gonna try this quick and see, and show you guys what it looks like. Bought these little cork lights on Amazon, and they were pretty neat for some other projects that I was doing. So let's take a look and shove this in here quick. Well, that took a little bit of effort to get in there. I'm gonna take the back off, and we will see what this looks like when we turn it on. Oh, that's pretty 
pretty cool. I don't know if you can really see that on camera. So you can see a little bit down there. That would be neater at nighttime. Let me see if I turn my light off. There. It's kind of neat. You can see it. So yeah, I mean you can use the cork that it comes with or you can purchase these off Amazon. I'll leave the link below just in case you want to use those. But I mean, it was just a couple dollar project. I just printed these off, I spray painted it, and then I purchased these and that was it. So it's kind of a neat project. You can make a whole bunch of them as I did. There's different um, wordings on there and everything. But yeah, if you can see this, I see it's shiny. I actually like the matte one better. I like this Mod Podge. It worked a lot easier than the other one that you have to brush on. And it's not coming off and it's stuck on there really well. Um, so yeah, so I hope you like this video. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already and thumbs up.